All right, the nozzle just failed again. There was another clog in there, so I didn't finish out. A little disappointed because this, uh, it was printing still, but there was nothing to show for it. This is all it was, and I wonder where the rest of the stuff went. So I think I want to make a change. So let's go ahead and change the nozzle. I just got something new. Yes, you, I'm talking about you. You're going to go gone, you gone, you gone. All right, just got my new Micro Swift's um, nozzle, all right? It's the whole unit itself, and I got a kit here. So I ended up buying one of these, but unfortunately they gave you the free one. I shouldn't have bought it, but I just bought it because I didn't know, I didn't think it was gonna be included with it. So the kit, this is pretty much what you get on this side right here. You get the screws, the actual, um, this is to mount the new nozzle if you want. And then I got a uh, 0 0.2 um, also too. Besides the 4 included with it, you I bought a 2, a 0 0.2. Because it's so easy to just take it off. And of course, before you take it off, you got to remove the actual um, uh, silicone cover. All right. So let's see if without re ripping it. Here it goes. Um, pretty much, you're supposed to just, it's, it's, it's. To tight it up, it's simple, it snaps in, but to take it off, look at this, that's it. That's pretty much it, all right? Taking it off, look at that, simple it is. This is a 4 uh, 0 0.4, and then to put it back on, look at that, it's gonna snap, watch. See, it won't go through no more. It just twisted. This is, gives you enough torque to actually um, close it up and, and loosen it up. That's pretty much what you do on this one. And these um, are simple to replace, right? Now, one important thing, um, you gotta remove the existing fan from the your unit that you have and add it in here. They do sell the whole kit together, but I didn't need that. And of course, this nozzle is a lot longer and they have different performances nozzles, all right? They have one for uh, fast printing and high temperatures and so forth. But I end up getting the normal. I don't really do anything fancy with the other than print the figures and stuff like that, you know? Uh, I don't print any carbon fiber, which my I have the PS1, uh, which uh, it's not carbon fiber. Um, so I don't really overheat it too much. And so I did get a, the, the nozzle for the 0 0.2 because I want to be able to print some details, more details on it. So this one, like I said, the silicone, you could replace it too. All right. But I would just, you know, keep it, you know, nice and pristine if you, as much as possible. And then I ended up buying an extra one just in case I need it or I lose one, you know, so, or oh, you could always print them out too. Uh, that's another thing. I just got a little lazy. I was like, I don't want, you know, something to go wrong. So we're going to replace it and test it out. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. So I am printing. It's going to be unstable for a bit, but let's go ahead and start. We're going to remove this thing here. We're going to unplug this one. All right. It's necessary to unplug it. So unplug it. Make sure you take this off. All right. This is important. Then we're going to start taking the whole thing off, but we're gonna have to unscrew it but then i like to unplug them if it's possible right so unplug them first then once we have them unplugged then we start with the actual physical entire thing to take it off so let's go ahead and do that all right we're gonna remove the screws all right two of the screws in here so remove them completely you have to remove these two all right there's two of them there it's one now we're going to remove this whole unit thing coming out. See how easy, simple. Before you do this, make sure you take out the filament, you cut it out, all right? And it, there's going to be a little piece in there, but that's fine. We're going to remove this whole thing because we need it. So we're going to replace the, we're going to remove the fan. All right, we're going to remove the fans, all right? And there's only two screws in here, right? That you have to worry about. That's pretty much it. Remove this one here, exactly how it is, all right? And then you got to mount it in here, right? And that's where you come in with the new screws, all right? Because the uh, old screws are going to be going through too much, all right? So, uh, in fact, these screws are different. They go deeper. So use the new screws that they give you on the system. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's the new screws that we're going to add. I'm going to leave one here so I won't lose them. 
put that in there exactly how it goes oops i dropped it's the first thing i said <laughs> so i'm gonna put the one in there make sure it gets a hole all right we're gonna come in the same way that we took it off all right come into the top but before that we're gonna have to um make sure we connect the these connections go back in there right the bird's eye view so we're gonna plug these in exactly how we're supposed to go back in here all three of them if you guys can see that so let's go ahead and start and finish all right we made the changes here's the old one right here all right the old ones right here um save the screws from the fan in case you ever have to go back or some emergency don't don't lose these they always have like great stuff to build and always save your screws all right so we're gonna save these and then we're gonna start doing a um leveling it there's a couple things you got to do make sure you do uh, again level and do the whole shenanigans about setting up the bed leveling and all that stuff go through the whole process it takes a long time and then we're going to do a test press uh test bench print first in white but right now it's doing updates so i'm going to wait for the updates so far it's pretty good so we're going to see how it goes i left the top off like it was recommended um but we're gonna see everything's working well still see some mud in there so but that's just the top right now the first layer i forgot i was expecting something a little bit bigger but look at this i'll take this off yes i'm touching the plate for those that don't like it too bad so ugh. let's see Ooh, let's take it a look closer I'm outdoors right now, but look at this beautiful, actually really good. I'm very impressed with it. Jeez, oh, look at that. It's not bad. Look at no, well, a couple street, but look at this. You did. A, oh. All right, check this out, man. I'm gonna show you how well it printed with the new print head with the new nozzle if you guys can see that it's really clear uh, the bolt look at uh, i didn't think it was going to print really good but that, that's small and it's really petite it fits in my whole palm of my hand so level of detail is like a 0.2 nozzle pretty much i wonder how the 0.2 nozzle is going to work now i'm very impressed with the four this is 0.4 so very impressive that all of it came out legible all the stuff you can see it all the degrees different degrees on it all in one so all the tests came out flawless so if you guys are looking i'm going to show you some more testing i did all right i've been printing 24 7 since i got this new nozzle i wanted to make sure it, it runs pretty good so that's why i ended up um, printing some more stuff let me show you what else i printed all right so i printed the moon and i'm going to show you guys how how good details it, it did look how well it does and this is i'm putting an led light so you guys can see it did pretty good details even on the top on the top you can see it perfect and this is the moon but i'm not done yet let me show you some more another planet jupiter here you guys can see that look you can even see the level of detail where the cradle is at right there awesome let me show you earth i think this is the most impressive one that came out because you can't even see the line on it you can see it right there just a couple of them but this is earth and very impressed with the actual print so you can even see some islands they has small little tiny islands but this is the united states this so right there <laughs> so very impressive with the actual nozzle i hope you guys enjoy the video